Ever caught yourself reminiscing about the good old days of emergency? Whether it's a cherished memory or the first time you tuned in, this 1972 TV series has left an indelible mark. Created by Jack Webb and Robert Asinator, Emergency brings the fast-paced world of paramedics Johnny Gage and Roy DeSoto to your screens. This show isn't just about flashing lights and sirens, it's a roller coaster of emotions with funny, shocking, and sad facts awaiting discovery. So keep your eyes peeled for those moments that will have you laughing, gasping, and maybe shedding a tear or two. Now, let's hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic series? We'd love to dive into your stories and relive those moments. Share them in the comments below and let's keep the emergency nostalgia alive. Get ready for a trip down memory lane. It's going to be one heck of a ride. Stay tuned for more fascinating facts and don't forget to share your own. Emergency burst onto the television scene in 1972, courtesy of the creative minds of Jack Webb and Robert Asinator. The series, centered around paramedics Johnny Gage and Roy DeSoto, became an instant hit, capturing the essence of the fast-paced world of emergency medical services. During its time, the show resonated with audiences, not merely for its portrayal of flashing lights and sirens, but for its ability to take viewers on a roller coaster of emotions. The narrative was a mix of humor, shock, and heart-wrenching moments that kept audiences eagerly awaiting each episode. The impact of emergency on popular culture was undeniable. The series became a cultural touchstone, influencing how emergency medical services were perceived by the general public. The show shed light on the crucial role paramedics play in saving lives, bringing their world to the forefront of public consciousness. In the wake of its success, emergency paved the way for spin-offs, merchandise, and adaptations. The show's popularity gave rise to a spin-off series, Emergency Plus Four, extending the legacy of the original. Fans could now delve even deeper into the world of emergency services. Merchandise related to the series flooded the market, allowing fans to take a piece of emergency home with them. From action figures to clothing, the show's characters became iconic symbols, further embedding themselves in the hearts of the viewers. The influence of emergency didn't stop there. The series inspired real-world changes in emergency medical services, prompting increased awareness and respect for the profession. Emergency medical technicians found themselves in the spotlight thanks to the show's portrayal of their vital work. As the years passed, emergency continued to hold a special place in the hearts of its fans. Its impact on popular culture and the lasting legacy it created remain evident, making it a classic in the annals of television history. The show's ability to blend entertainment with education left an enduring mark, ensuring its relevance even in the ever-evolving landscape of television. In retrospect, Emergency stands as a testament to the power of storytelling in shaping perceptions and influencing societal attitudes. Its impact on the portrayal of emergency services and the ripple effect it created in popular culture solidify its position as a groundbreaking series that transcends its time. And there you have it, the tale of how Emergency made waves during its time and left an indelible legacy on popular culture. It's a journey worth remembering, celebrating, and passing on to new generations. The 1972 TV series unfolded against the backdrop of the 1950s, a period marked by significant cultural and historical shifts. The 50s were characterized by post-World War II optimism and the rise of the suburban lifestyle. It was an era of economic prosperity, technological advancements, and the emergence of television as a dominant medium of entertainment. During this time, societal norms were conservative, reflecting the prevailing values of the era. The nuclear family structure and traditional gender roles were predominant, shaping the cultural landscape. The 50s also witnessed the beginning of the civil rights movement, challenging racial segregation and paving the way for social change. The influence of the 1950s on the series is discernible in its thematic elements and content. Although set in the 1970s, it carries echoes of the 50s sensibility. The portrayal of paramedics Johnny Gage and Roy DeSoto reflects the heroic and altruistic ideals associated with the post-war period. They embody the virtues of duty, honor, and sacrifice, mirroring the values ingrained in the 50s cultural ethos. Furthermore, the show benefited from the technological advancements of the 50s, which laid the groundwork for the emergency medical services depicted. 
The advent of modern ambulances, medical equipment, and communication systems during that era provided the foundation for the rapid response portrayed. The societal changes and challenges of the 50s, including the ongoing Cold War and the burgeoning civil rights movement, serve as an underlying context that adds depth to the narrative. It subtly addresses issues such as teamwork, diversity, and the importance of community, reflecting the societal transformations that began in the 50s and continued into the 70s. In conclusion, the TV series draws inspiration from the cultural and historical tapestry of the 1950s. Its themes and content are enriched by the values, technological progress, and societal dynamics of that era, creating a narrative that resonates with the audience. The echoes of the 50s contribute to the unique charm and enduring appeal of the classic television series. Fire Station 127, known as Fire Station 51 in the show, stands as a tribute to Robert F. Senator, the executive producer of the series. The station has been aptly named the Robert F. Senator Memorial Fire Station in recognition of his significant role in bringing emergency to life. In later seasons of the series, a pragmatic approach to water rescues becomes evident. Characters like Johnny, Roy, and other rescuers are seen wearing specialized water-resistant shoes resembling the standard black leather chukka boots. This shift from leather boots to more practical options like all-black Converse, Chuck Taylor shoes, or similar alternatives occurred around the third season, aiming to save time and resources by avoiding damage to the traditional footwear. Notably, actors Tim Donnelly and Marco Lopez had prior collaborations with series creators Jack Webb and Robert Assinator in Dragnet 1967 and Adam 12. Both actors, having worked in smaller roles or as extras in these earlier shows, earned roles tailored for them in emergency, as Chet B. Kelly and Marco Lopez, respectively. Their inclusion in the series for its entire six-season run reflects Webb's gratitude and familiarity with their capabilities. Amidst the high-stakes world of emergency, a subtle yet significant dynamic unfolded between the characters. Dixie, portrayed by Julie London, assumed a role beyond the script, becoming a surrogate mother and mentor to Randolph Mantooth and Kevin Ty, who played Johnny and Roy, respectively. In interviews, Mantooth emphasized London's nurturing influence, while Ty expressed deep friendship and the pain felt upon London's passing. What said emergency? part was its commitment to authenticity. The equipment and clothing used in the show were not mere props. They were the real deal from the Los Angeles County Fire Department. This attention to detail lent the series an air of realism, allowing viewers a genuine glimpse into the world of emergency responders. The series had its roots in connections that predated its inception. Long before the cameras rolled, Robert Fuller had encountered Julie London at a Los Angeles club where she sang. Their acquaintance, coupled with the enduring friendship between London and her future husband Bobby Troop, laid the foundation for a lasting bond that transcended the screen. In the intricate dance of real-life influencing fiction, emergency, seamlessly integrated personal connections and genuine firefighting gear, creating a narrative that felt not only authentic but deeply rooted in the realities of emergency services. These subtle elements added depth to the characters and resonated with audiences, enhancing the show's impact.